Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Pisces, what's up? It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's happening with you guys? What is going on? How's the water feeling these days, Pisces? Huh? There you are. How's the water feeling these days, Pisces? We're going to do a reading for you guys today. I should say us because even though I'm a Taurus sun, I am a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. So I have a vested interest in whatever these cards are going to say today. So let's just see. Been a long time, Pisces. How's it been going? How's it rolling? <laughs> huh, Pisces? How's it going? Let's do a nice big fat tarot card for reading for Pisces. Let's see what's going on. All right, guys, give me a second to channel, okay? All right. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me, Spirit. And Pisces wants to know what you know. They want to know what you know, Spirit. What do you know about Pisces? And what does Pisces need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Pisces. I'll cut three times. Okay, and I'll pull straight from the top right there. Let's do it. Let's go. You guys see that? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, Justice, Pisces. Wow. Bottom of the deck, Justice. And the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, the Princess of Wands in reverse, the King of Cups, the Two of Wands, Princess of Swords, and Strength. Wow, we could read this whole thing backwards right there. Look at those cards right there. All right, we'll see what those mean a little bit later. I'm going to sit. All right, Pisces, first card out. Ooh, the Seven of Swords. What's up with that, huh? To the Four of Swords, Contemplation, Reevaluation, the Prince of Cups, Feelings of some sort, Emotions, of course, the devil in reverse, releasing some kind of limiting belief, and the prince of of uh, wands right there, some kind of inspired action of some sort. All right, all right. The emperor, mm -hmm. the star, nice. The ace of swords in the center of the reading, followed by the queen of swords and the hermit. The Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups in Reverse, the Seven of Wands, the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse, the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands in Reverse, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands in Reverse, the Tower in Reverse, the Four of Cups, Five of Pentacles in Reverse, and Temperance to the Four of Wands to the Four of Pentacles, and the Prince of Swords. Swords to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. All right, we're stopping. <laughs> okay. What in the world is going on here? Hmm. I'll clarify with the old school Rider Waite. So a few things you need to know about me before we get started here. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I will most likely swear and I will smoke my vape on camera. And if any of that bothers you, the neighborhood is just too rough and you need to go on down the road. Okay. I want to hear nothing about it. I do me, you do you, and we leave each other alone. Okay. All right. 
So the Seven of Swords, first card out, starts everything. So betrayal, deception, someone trying to get away with something. Hmm. What is this Seven of Swords about right here, please? What is this Seven of Swords? What is this? Seven of Wands, some kind of a challenge to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Uh, the Four of Swords, contemplate and reevaluate. Come to terms with something. Come to terms with something. Something that has brought you a lot of despair. Something that is some kind of a, a stuck mindset. Six of Wands in reverse. Something that needs to be overcome. Ace of Pentacles. New well-being. And Three of Swords. In the mind. Grief, sorrow, pain. And that goes back to that Four of Swords, right? And that's all the details in between. Hmm. The Prince of Cups. The Prince of Cups to the Seven of Cups and the Magician in reverse. Seven of Cups is about options, choices, decisions, confusion. The Magician in reverse is about an inability to manifest or potential. And then the Two of Cups comes on top of that. Interesting. To the devil in reverse, releasing limiting beliefs. What are these limiting beliefs right here that Pisces needs to pay attention to? What are these limiting beliefs right here that Pisces needs to pay attention to? What is this? What is this? What's this? Four of Swords in reverse. So it's whatever you gotta let go right there. Okay. Because it's a it's a it's a lack of progress or overthinking something to the hair of it. Commitment, obligations, marriage. All right, Pisces. I don't know what this is all about right here, but we're fixing to find out. This is for someone, okay? Someone. This is what's going on, Pisces. This is what's going on. So, Seven of Swords was the first card out, right? Followed by the Four of Swords. Seven of Swords is betrayal or deception. It's trying to get away with something. It's trying to avoid something, okay? So it's, a, it's the avoidance of some kind of accountability, okay? Four of Swords says that you have to come to terms with this. You have to come to terms with it. Yeah, gotta, gotta come to terms with it, okay? Hang up the grief, the sorrow, the pain. Pick up the fourth sword. Bring some stability to your mindset and push forward. Okay. I asked what the root of this seven of swords is, and it is the seven of cups in reverse, which is emotional diversion. Okay. It's about, it's about being preoccupied. So preoccupied that you can't really see the forest through the trees. Okay. Seven of cups in reverse is saying that you are preoccupied with maybe something that happened in a significant relationship in the past, or you are preoccupied with um, not wanting to focus or deal uh, with something that happened from the past, right? There's something that's sticking in your craw, as we would say down here in the South, okay? Something stuck in your craw right there, and you're having a hard time putting it down. The Seven of Wands. This card talks about defending yourself, okay? And then the Ten of Pentacles in reverse talks about loss. So this tells me that you have been through something in your past that was a critical failure, critical loss in your life, a very critical turning point where you went sour when it comes to this relationship that we're going to talk about. Could it be love? Sure. Could it be work? Sure. Could it be family? Of course it could. It could be anything in anyone's life. Okay. So don't label it as a love reading um, when it could be love, but with a child, or it could be love for a job or a career. Okay. So, okay. 
Four of Swords says, come to terms with, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, come to terms with some stuff. Come to terms with what? The Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment. Nine of Swords in reverse, a very painful lesson. Lesson is the operative word. To the Six of Swords in reverse, a very painful lesson that you are still stuck in in your mind. To the Six of Wands in reverse, Lesson being the operative word, six of wands in reverse, saying you are not overcoming the battle. You are not learning the lesson. What's the lesson that you need to learn? The three of swords. To come to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain that has happened in your life and push forward to the ace of pentacles because there is a brand new opportunity that is about to present itself to you, Pisces. A brand new opportunity. Okay? All right. Prince of Cups. A couple of things here, okay? There's a message coming to you. So there is an a entanglement that you are going to be a part of in your near future, okay? And it has to do with the, the positive exchange of emotions, okay? Prince of Cups also says what you need to do, Pisces, is rein in your fractured emotions with that three of swords right there, okay? Cast the net, pull it all in, bring it heart center, come to terms with whatever, whatever this uber huge loss was for you back here. Come to terms with it and gather it together so you can be prepared to engage with this situation that's about to take place, okay? Seven of cups. Options, choices, decisions, confusion. The, the magician in reverse, the alchemist, the magician in reverse talking about um, an inability to manifest and or potential, okay? And then the two of cups comes on top of it and talks about the obvious, right? Some kind of unified relationship. So what are these saying? These are saying that there is a, 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 an interaction coming towards you that is an emotional exchange of some sort. Get yourself ready, pull yourself together from your past, put it behind you, and let's go forward, okay? Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions, confusion, and the magician in reverse about, um, Potential, I think it, it's, it's unmet potential. It's untapped potential. Tell me about this magician real quick, please. Um, yeah, I need to know about this magician real quick. Yeah, the nine of swords, right? So nine of swords. So painful lesson. So you are doubtful in the seven of cups. Doubtful. Okay. Of any kind of potential when it comes to this relationship that is directly the result of this Prince of Cups right here, okay? So there is an invite to join forces in somehow, some way, and you're just really not sure that you're a viable partner in a relationship or that this other side can be a viable partner in a relationship. And you're so caught up in your head back here about the bad things that have happened in the past that you're just like, I just, mm, I don't think so. I just don't think so. But the devil in reverse says differently. The devil in reverse talks about releasing limiting beliefs, detaching from a toxic vein in your life. What's the toxic vein in your life? Well, it's the four of swords in reverse, the same four of swords that's over here that it's telling you to get over, right? Four of swords in reverse is overthinking, locked in the mind, stuck in the mind, um, a lack of progress because you're just thinking and thinking and thinking about something, right? You need to release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? That everybody sucks, okay? Relationships suck. The whole thing suck. Everything sucks, because there is some kind of relationship about to enter into your life. The Hierophant. Hierophant says two things here. It says grow up. Grow up and realize that not everything is forever and always. Amen. Even this new relationship that's coming into your life. Nobody can tell you it's forever and always. Amen. Because there's too many human variables. However long this relationship goes for, any relationship goes for, depends on how you act. 
And that's just the way that it is. So this was a significant re relationship of some sort back here that you got hurt or burned from. And you kind of got a sour attitude about relationships now. And the Hierophant says, grow up and grow out of it. Understand that every single relationship is valuable in and of itself. Even the shitty, 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 terrible relationships, those are supposed to have value because you're supposed to learn and grow, A, how not to do that again, and B, what it is about you that got you in that place in the first place and how it is you're going to tweak yourself so you don't keep repeating the same mistakes. It's all valuable. Not to mention, there was good times. Okay, you, hardly anybody can say I was in this relationship for 15 years and every single day of it fucking sucked. And if that's the case, barring some weird situation, you should have left that relationship a long time ago and that's your fault. Okay, so the Hierophant says grow up, get over it, let's move forward. The Hierophant is also indicating that there is a commitment offer coming your way with the Page of Pentacles. There is the opportunity to begin some kind of new well-being in your life, and it is directly associated to some kind of commitment, contract, or obligation involving a union of some sort. Okay? Prince of Wands, reiterating, there is some kind of inspired action that is going to be taken towards you, okay, because it's coming into the reading, towards you by someone or something four of wands and the offer is of some kind of peace contentment stability and safety in some kind of 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 long-term opportunity the six of pentacles to give and receive and share in the prosperity of life with another or others queen of wands in reverse but you all salty about it <laughs> Y'all salty about it, Pisces. Spiky Pisces. You're, you're pokey. You're salty. You just, you just, you just, you just not about it. Just not about it. Huh? Huh? The Emperor over here to the Page of Wands. This is who is bringing you your message. The Emperor and the Page of Wands. Okay? You got somebody coming towards you. That is bringing you a message. Oh, I've had hair in my eye all day. All day long. It's probably all red. Um, someone's bringing you a message. Okay. Of exploration, discovery, and excitement. They're like, hey, let's try this out, Pisces. Let's see how this goes, Pisces. But here you are all salty with the sun in reverse, right? Being all downtrodden about it. Not seeing clearly that the offer that's being made to you is by someone who is upstanding, forthcoming, upright, good citizen, right? <laughs> and here you are with the emperor in reverse, right? Sun in reverse to the emperor in reverse, clarifying this emperor. You're all downtrodden thinking, yeah, he's just another narcissist. She's just another narcissist. They're just another narcissist, right? It's all the same. They're all the same. They're, they're, it's just, ugh, just, ugh, right? To the star. Star says, but Pisces, this is your path. This is your purpose. This situation right here is significant for your life and for your growth. The significant growth comes from you coming to terms with your past and willing to be open and give love or some kind of union, um, if it's a job opportunity, to give it a chance. Your path, your purpose, hope, renewal. So the Five of Cups in reverse. Move on from loss, regret, despair, disappointment. Page of Swords in reverse. It's not all talk, all, all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. Move on from the loss, the regret, the despair, and the disappointment associated with all talk, no action, and undelivered promises from whatever this huge L was for you up at the top. The chariot comes on top of it. It says, put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to do what it is that you got to do to get over this, grow up, mature, and open yourself to this new opportunity because it is in your best interest. Ace of Swords, in the center of the reading. Think clearly. 
Get your mind in the game. Because if your mind is all subconsciously ruminating on anxiety and despair and painful lesson and betrayal and deceit, guess what kind of low vibrational shit you're, you're gravitating towards yourself, right? Despair, anxiety, loss, grief, sorrow, pain. If you're ruminating on that, that's what your life is. Get your mind in the game with the Ace of Swords. Have a change of mind. Get some new thoughts with the Ace here swirling in your head. Center of your reading. The whole reading revolves around your thoughts to the star in reverse. Because the way that you're going about doing it is not purposeful for your path, your life, or your future. There is a significant relationship that is about to present itself to you and they need you to be aware of its significance and they need you to be ready for it and get rid of this past back here because this past back here is going to screw up this relationship. Okay? To the death card. Bring the past to an, an end once and for all. Bring it to an ending. Clear it up. Leave it. Nail it to the wall. So you can have a massive transformation of your future. The Queen of Swords. There's you. Being all defensive. Being all salty about things. All up in your head. In your head. In your head. In your head. When this comes around, you have to feel it in your heart. You have to feel it in your heart, Pisces, and not just try to process it in your head. All in your head, Ten of Cups in reverse, about the loss and the grief and the sorrow from your past. The Hermit, Major Arcana, it's an invite to you to sit down with your higher power and talk about some things. What you going to talk about? Well, the Eight of Cups. You're going to talk about leaving behind that which wasn't good enough for you in the first place. Eight of Cups is about dodging a bullet. Sit down with whatever you call the, 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 the divine, okay, and talk about this. And they will bring to your attention in your consciousness that you actually dodged a bullet from this whole situation up here. Knight of Wands says, be excited that this whole thing up here isn't part of your life anymore and take some inspired action to leave behind all of this grief and sorrow. Eight of Pentacles. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. Work on the lessons that you've compounded. Figure out what it is you learned about yourself from this bad situation up here. Make yourself bitter, bigger, bigger. Bitter, huh? Freudian slip. Make yourself bigger, better, and stronger. Eight of Pentacles. So you can build something of your, of your past, right? Like I said before, it's not a waste. No relationship is ever a waste. And if you think it's a waste, then you're not doing your job by learning what it is that you need to know about yourself from your screw ups. Okay. Compound, build, work your shit out so you can work on a relationship. The Empress, the Empress to the Emperor right here. Pull yourself together. Stand in your power. Control your thoughts. Follow your intuition. The Wheel of Fortune. And it will lead you to this massive, massive turning point in your life. You have the Emperor, the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, Death, the Star. This is your path. This is your purpose. You are supposed to engage in this. The Queen of Cups in reverse to the Ten of Swords in reverse. Allow the universe to provide you with the materials to renew and regenerate your broken heart from your past. To the Seven of Wands. Challenge. What's the challenge? Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past. The Hermit in reverse, being stuck in the past, makes you have the propensity to withdraw and isolate yourself from any chance of a relationship. Mm -hmm. King of Swords, see the truth of the situation. Pull it together. 
see the truth of the situation. Take all of these scattered thoughts right here, culminate them in the King of Swords, draw a line in the sand and say, I am not going to let my past dictate my future. Not going to happen. Take accountability for your part in the demise of the relationship because it takes two to tango. You helped this relationship fall apart from your past. Okay? You did. You absolutely did. Even if it was by default allowing yourself to be in the relationship. Okay? All right. King of Swords. Take some accountability. The Queen of Wands to the Six of Pentacles, to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, to the Hierophant, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Take accountability. Six of Pentacles. This is you in this previous relationship up here, this Seven of Swords loss up here, okay? This is you in this relationship. This tells me that you have gave and received and shared in the prosperity of life as a significant other, somehow, some way, and Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it didn't work out. It was a lost opportunity. The Hierophant, you committed yourself. It was some kind of serious commitment. Eight of Wands in reverse, and that's why you don't want to take action towards it now, okay? Because you've been burned. Again, the Hierophant says, grow up, grow spiritually, mature. Six of Swords, leave this mental baggage behind you. Nine of Wands in reverse, give up fighting. Nine of Wands in the upright is fighting the good fight. Resilience, persistence, fighting the good fight. The Nine of Wands in reverse is about giving up on what it is that you have been so persistently holding on to. The Tower in reverse. And have a personal transformation from whatever this implosion was. Because the tower is supposed to let us know that where we're trying to build can't bear the weight of what it is we're trying to build. So it crumbles. Again, you dodged a bullet. You dodged a bullet with this past thing. So stop holding on to it. And give yourself room and freedom to explore and grow. And don't just wall yourself off and say, my God, that was so painful. I don't ever want to feel that again. Because I tell you what, in the good part, it was good. In the good part, it was good. Almost makes it worth the bad part. Provided it's not some fucked up situation, right? Have a personal transformation. Stand up, brush yourself off, and begin to look for new foundation. The Four of Cups. I just want to point out, right? Stop crawling around in the rubble trying to fit the pieces together, trying to figure out why it fell apart in the first place. Stand up, brush yourself off, and carry on. Four of Cups. Contemplation and reevaluation. Mm -hmm. So you think you got it. You think you got it nailed down because you're staring at the Three of Cups, right? You're like, I got this. I'm over it. I don't walk a day now. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't ever want... No, this is your deep subconscious mind. I'm a channeler. This is deep in your subconscious, buried down in the dark places of you. And this needs to come out and you need to handle it or you're not going to be prepared for this beautiful opportunity that's about to take place in your life. You won't be prepared for it. You think you got it, but the fourth cup says you don't got it. This is what you need to know to bring stability to your emotions so you can make the decisions that you need to make in your life. Five of Pentacles in reverse is about coming out of the cold, coming out of the cold, coming out of the hermit in reverse, right? Withdrawn, isolated, lonely, temperance, pull it together, balance yourself out and be tempered in all aspects because you're all out of whack in your mind right here. Right? Your mind is controlling most of this spread right here. The grief, the anxiety, the despair, the disappointment, overthinking over and over and over and over again in your deep subconscious. That makes everything else out of whack, right? 
You got to get your mind in check under control. You have to get your emotions under control. You have to get your motivations and your aspirations under control. And you have to get your sense of self we being under control and be tempered as you move forward. Four of Wands in reverse. Um, you are about to transition out of a place of a lack of stability and well-being into a place of stability and well-being with the Four of Pentacles. Again, also saying get yourself under control. Prince of Swords, because there's communication coming into you that's about to change everything. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And if you keep doing it like you've always done it, you're going to keep getting it like you always got it. That's why you got to change something. You have to learn this lesson about why the past didn't work out for you. So you don't, you don't keep doing the same behavior patterns in your future relationships, especially this one to the two of pentacles. Balance this out and prioritize it. Balance it out and prioritize it. It's important. Strength. You can do it. You have all of the resources that you need to be strong enough to to prepare yourself for a new love. Do not do what you did in that old relationship, in this new relationship. There is something about your character that needs a little tweaking so you can be ready for the next stage of your life. Princess of Swords, because there's communication coming to you. There's a message of some sort going to be exchanged. The Two of Wands, um, your future, your future, your future, your future, Pisces. The King of Cups is going to be freaking amazing. If you want a relationship, it is right around the corner, but it's not going to manifest in your life until you get your mind straight. Prince, what I say, Princess of Wands in reverse, it's not going to manifest in your life until you get your mind straight. Ten of Pentacles, what do you want? What do you want in your life? Because this new opportunity that's coming towards you is potentially the foundation that you could build on. It's potentially solid foundation that you could build on. Ten of Cups in reverse to the Ten of Swords, right? But wah, 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 didn't work. It was terrible. It was horrible. I never want to go through that again. Just grow from it. Just learn and grow from it. Thanks for the journey. Namaste. And learn and grow. And don't let it keep you from experiencing a good life. Justice. Be accountable. Be accountable for your contribution to wherever it is that you are now. Be accountable for you ending up right here in this Nine of Swords. Okay? Be accountable. Own your truth. And the truth will set you free. There you go, Pisces. I hope that helps someone. Namaste.